you're a family man like me, then you'll know when buying a new car, space trumps everything else. If you can fit the kids and, well, everything that comes with kids inside the car, well, nothing else really matters. Of course, I am being slightly facetious there because, well, if that was the case, then we'd all be driving MPVs or vans with windows. We're not. We're buying SUVs and for a very good reason. This new Kia Sorento, this is a very good reason. Now I'll admit to being slightly, well actually unreasonably excited about this one. If we rewind three or four years, I was part of the team, yep that's me, in the back seats there, who awarded the pre-facelift version of this car, Car Buyer's Overall Car of the Year. That's Auto Express's sister site, link in the description, but it puts things like space, practicality and value for money at the fore. So the question we've got to ask here is, is the new, updated Kia Sorento still the ultimate dad car? So what's changed? Well, last year, if you cast your mind back, Kia announced the EV9, its electric flagship. And this car, well, this car basically follows in that one's footsteps. So you've got these new headlights, it's got this kind of star map, daytime running light signature. The bonnet is actually ever so slightly longer, but it's just made the car look a bit wider, a bit more purposeful, a bit more aggressive. Overall, actually quite a different look to the car that it replaces. Now, if you follow me down the side, now these wheels, again, EV9 inspired, perhaps a little bit less aero focused, but you can definitely see the similarities with that and the electric car. You've got some extra cladding around here and along the, the sills down here. Again, just to differentiate it, from the old car. Now, there's more of that inside. Of course, it's in here where a dad car, well, its status is reinforced, isn't it? Perhaps a bit more back there than right up here, but there are definitely things in this car that will cement it as one of the greatest dad cars there is. Loads of storage, for example, loads in there. You've got another cubby up here for your phone, two cup holders, and another cubby there as well. In terms of things that are different in this car versus the old one, you've got this big curved panel here. So before it was two separate screens, now it's one screen joined in the middle and they're bigger than before as well. 12.3 inches and 12.3 inches. So much bigger, much more clear and obviously really easy to use in typical Kia fashion. In terms of other bits and bobs that, well, elevate this car above others in terms of its dad friendliness. You've got a Bose stereo on the top spec cars, which means you can listen to your, your Disney hits loud and clear and for as long as you like. Brilliant addition. You've got this panoramic roof that stretches all the way back to past the heads of those in the second row. So that floods the cabin with light. The last thing and well, possibly the most important thing, sustainable leather or sustainable leather alternative on the seats, saving the planet for future generations. <laughs> Right, now we can get into the proper dad car stuff. And back here, there really are some pretty clever features. First of all, USB ports on both of the front seats. That's gonna be really handy if you wanna be charging your devices back here. Now, you can't actually see it from here, but there is actually some buttons on the side of the front seat here, which means you can just adjust the front passenger seats. That's gonna be really annoying, but really entertaining for your rear seat passengers. Other stuff, you've got cup holders in both of the side doors, that's fantastic. These are heated seats on the two outer chairs. Again, fantastic for, for the young ones or for the old ones alike. Again, this panoramic roof just floods the cabin with light, looks really good. These seats actually do move backwards and forwards. You can recline them forwards and backwards as well, but even a standard, you've got plenty of leg room and plenty of headroom. Should we see if I can fit in the back? Okay, I wouldn't want to spend an awful lot of time back here, but I'm just over six foot tall, so I wouldn't want to spend a lot of time in the back of any seven seat car. But kids, they'll be absolutely fine. And you can rake these seats forward if you want a little bit more legroom. But as I say, kids, absolutely fine. And doubly so, because this car has Isofix in the very back row. It's amazing how many seven seat cars don't have Isofix at the very back. And it just, well, it just elevates this car to proper dad car status. And there are a few little other things that do just make this car that bit more practical. You've got cup holders in the very back here and a small little tray as well. And 
well, we'll come to this in a moment, you can fold down the second row seat from the boot. The buttons are just back here and there's a 12 volt socket as well. So as I say, overall, yeah, I wouldn't want to spend time back here, but the kids, absolutely fine. The best bit though is that all of this space and practicality, as well as much of the kit, is available for a smidge over £40,000. That could make this one of the best value new cars currently on sale. There are three engines, a diesel, a hybrid and a plug-in hybrid, and three trims named quite simply 2, 3 and 4. Even the base model gets full LED head and tail lights, three zone climate control, heated front seats and a heated steering wheel, a smart entry system and a 12.3 inch touchscreen infotainment display. Step up to three and you'll pick up extras like a set of 19 inch wheels, higher spec ice cube LED headlights, electric seats, 360 degree parking cameras and a self levelling rear suspension system for those who are keen on towing. The top spec 4 model brings in more comprehensive luxury elements such as the panoramic roof, Nappa leather trim, ventilated seats, a power adjustable steering column, a head up display and fingerprint access so drivers can set up their own personal preferences. The cost for all these bells and whistles, £50,695 for the diesel, and even that could be considered a bargain, in context, of course. So we've talked about a lot of the practical features inside, and of course, any dad car needs to have a big boot. And well, the Sorento nails this one as well. This is a pre-production car, and obviously, being a facelifted model, we haven't got official boot space figures yet but well you can pretty much expect 600 odd litres with the third row down and over 2,000 in some models depending on whether you go for the diesel or the hybrid with the middle row folded but well that gets a big dad size thumbs up. So is this new updated Kia Sorento the ultimate dad car? Well, not far off, if you ask me. There's loads of family-friendly features, there's masses of space inside, and you get a choice of hybrid or diesel powertrains. And with that new lower list price, well, what does? Doesn't want to save the odd penny here and there. And let's not forget as well, that if you want electric, Kia's got you covered with the new EV9.